Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial video from Geomatics. I'm Brent Thorne, and today we're going to go over a very basic introduction um, to creating a interactive map using R and R Studio. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open up R Studio, and um, we're going to need to install the leaflet package because leaflet is um i get it's the the map that we're going to be looking at it's actually a javascript uh javascript api map that um you if you're familiar with that kind of thing um it's actually pretty good and intuitive and i recommend checking it out if not don't worry about it uh, we don't have to get into any kind of javascript or anything like that we can do this all in R. Okay, so let's install. Oops, I want to install packages. Okay, and we're going to install leaflet. I'm going to hit control enter. It just runs that line of code for me. Yeah, make sure that my audio is off here for the computer just in case there's any errors. Sometimes it gets uh, pretty loud. Okay. So now we can go into packages. We can search for leaflet and we see it's popped up here. So that's exactly what we want. We've now installed it onto the computer. And the next thing that we're going to do is load it in using the library. Oops, library. The library function. Okay. And we'll once again type leaflet and hit control enter. What this does, if we bring up leaflet again here, notice how it's now checkmarked. So the first line of code here that we had just installed the leaflet package onto our computer. This line, the library function, actually tells R that for the purpose of this script that we're running right now, we want to use the leaflet package that's available. Okay? So it was as easy as that. Now all we have to do is create the actual map. So the first thing we're going to do is create a variable uh, that will represent the map. So I'm just going to call it M, M for map. And you can use the equal symbol or use this symbol here. Uh, either one works fine. This is the one that I use. Um, now we're going to call in the leaflet function. So you start typing out leaflet and you'll see that leaflet, um, this little option comes up here. You click on it and you know that it's the leaflet function rather than the packages, the package name that pops up because it'll have the open and close bracket after it. The next thing that you're going to, need to do is add tiles. So the, the actual images that the user will see when interacting with the map. And we can load in just the default tiles that the leaflet package has um, by using the add tiles function. And to get there, we need to insert a symbol called a pipe. Um, and I'll explain that later in, in future tutorials uh, in this series. But for now, all you need to know, you hit Control, Shift, and M. And it pops up this symbol for you. It's, uh, it's just a quick workaround from, in order to avoid um, having to write out a lot more code. So now we'll run the Add Tiles function. It pops up here. And you literally have to do nothing else for this. Okay. Um, actually, let's run this here. So I'm going to highlight it and hit control enter. And you can see the variable M is now there. So it's a, it's a thing. It exists and it represents all of this stuff that we wrote. So now we just need to tell R in R studio to print the map or to show us the map. And to do that, you just name the variable and then run the code. Um, Sometimes in a script, you don't necessarily want to print out everything. Um, you might just want to run all of the stuff in the background and then print it yourself as you go. And if you want to do that, you could come down into the console and type M and do the same thing. But for this purpose, let's just run it from here. So you're going to hit Control-Enter again. 
and you'll see in the viewer pane now it pops up a map and what's nice about this map is that it is interactive just like a your standard web map that you would have um let's see here peterborough um it has everything that you would want in an interactive map so that is a very quick tutorial on bringing in a leaflet map into R and R Studio. And the next set of videos, I'm going to actually show you guys how to add uh, markers or points to your map, um, because I'm sure that you guys want probably want to go further with this. So feel free to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment in the uh, under the video description below and uh, let me know what you guys think and or suggestions for what else to cover in, in this tutorial series. Okay, thanks guys.